What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today I'm going to be talking about powerful hidden One UI 6.1 features. One UI 6.1 is on the S24 series, of course, but it's going to be rolling out to other devices starting this month, March 2024, including the S23 series. So I want to give an overview of what's included for all of you guys who are going to be getting the update this month. Before we get started, I do want to thank my son, Jonathan. We've always got the Ankylosaurus and we've got the uh, Justin Bergia hanging out over here, I believe this one is called. So he's always giving me some dinos and animals. We appreciate my three-year-old son for that. Also want to remind you guys, if you are interested in saving some money on your wireless service, check out my partners at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has unlimited premium wireless starting at just $15 a month and starting on March the 5th, which is when this video will be posted, you'll be able to get any of their plans for just $15 a month. Now they have a bunch of different plans. I'm making this video prior to the 5th. Um, they have a bunch of different plans, a 5 gig, a 15, a 20, and unlimited. The current prices are shown, but when this video is posted, every single plan will be $15 a month, which means you guys can see the regular price for the unlimited plan is $30 a month, which means you're going to get it for half price, essentially $15 a month for three months of service. Absolutely fantastic. Mint Mobile, all their plans have unlimited tech, talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. One of the things I love about Mint is you get an eSIM or a physical SIM, whichever one works for your particular device. Uh, it's very, very convenient. They'll send you out your SIM kit if it's a physical SIM, pop out your old SIM, pop in the Mint SIM, let the savings begin. Now I've been using Mint here in the Phoenix, Arizona area for just over 16 months. My family's all switched, we love the service. If you guys wanna try it out and get in on that special offer, this limited time offer, starting today, all plans, $15 a month, try mintmobile.com slash Springer to sign up. It's also gonna be in the pinned comment description Give them a try. Get on on this limited time offer. $15 a month for the limited plan is an amazing, amazing deal. We do appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's talk about these features. I'm going to go through them. I don't even know how many I have. Top 10, top 9, whatever it ends up being. We'll see. So the first one is uh, unlock more widgets and clocks. So the first uh, thing with widgets is now if you long press on your lock screen, when you edit, you'll now have the option to add widgets up here. It says widgets right under the clock. You can add battery widgets, calendar widgets, clock widgets, reminder widget, Samsung held widgets, and there's seven different weather widgets that you can add on the clock. Now, this is in addition to your modifications you might do in Lockstar or Clockface, which allows you to get even more. Now, they do have some standard clock additions as well. They added some additional styles with One UI 6.1. But if you want all of the additional clocks, uh, what you really wanna do is go into Good Lock and download the Clock Face module. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. Here's Good Lock. The Clock Face module in Good Lock unlocks a bunch of additional options that you'll have to get clocks. So if you go into Clock Face here, once you download Good Lock and choose My Face, you'll see all of these different styles that have been updated for the clock face module with One UI 6.1. Change all of those there. You can also build your own in studio as you've always been able to do with clock face. So you get all these new widget options, you get all these new clock options, in addition to some other cool lock screen effects, which we'll talk about in just a second. Up next, I want to show you guys this cool new feature that I have on my always on display. You guys can probably see it here as I turn on the always on display to the lock screen. I have my background on the wallpaper erased, so it looks like the tiger is kind of isolated on the always on display. Now this feature is added with One UI 6.1. So if we go in here, scroll down to lock screen and always on display, go into always on display. You'll see right here, it says show lock screen wallpaper, erase background here. Now you'll notice that mine is actually blurred out. And that is because if you wanna use this feature, you have to make sure you turn off the Lockstar module and some of the other customization options that are for the lock screen. I'm gonna show you guys a couple other on later on in this video, uh, like the ambient photo wallpaper. Those cannot be used in conjunction with the erase background option. But what I've noticed is, and so this is kind of a fine point, I don't think a lot of people have talked about this. If you wanna use the erase background option, you can turn it on and then still turn on your Lockstar modifications. You guys can see, I actually have my Lockstar modification that gives me my little buttons with my recent app. Talk about that in a previous video. That's part of Lockstar. But then you can't turn this off, but the erase background still works. So it's kind of a subtle point. 
But uh, yes, if you want to use it and you want to enable it, it's going to be grayed out until you turn off Lockstar and all your other wallpaper modifications. So just keep that in mind. The other cool option that I want to mention here is when you do show lock screen wallpaper, you have to have this, of course, turned on to get this to show. But there's also a new option here called Auto under When to Show. This will show it only when it's not in a dark place or a dark room. Um, this is a new feature that allows it to show under certain circumstances and not always or schedule or tap to show, which were the other options that we had before. So this is definitely one of my favorite new features on the wallpaper always on display uh, is the erase background feature. And I think Samsung did a good job with it. There's just some other customization options that it could probably work well with, but it doesn't work well with them just yet. The next thing is the photo ambient wallpaper. If you go in here, I am not using this one, but if you go down to advanced features and you go to labs, you'll notice photo ambient wallpaper right here. And this basically allows you to get some cool effects, which changes your wallpaper based on the weather. It'll show like rain or snow, all that kind of cool stuff. This does not work officially though with the erase background AOD option that I just showed you, um, which is why I don't have it. Plus, I, I kind of just like the more simplistic idea of my wallpaper and the erase back on AOD together. I don't need rain or snow, etc. But if you like this idea of a weather-based wallpaper that changes with the weather, it is a new One UI 6.1 feature. You can find it in the labs menu. I've seen people use it, but it doesn't always show something. So if the weather's not changing frequently where you are, just keep that in mind. Up next, go down into settings, go to display, we now have the adaptive color tone option right here. The adaptive color tone will basically give you a more, you know, accurate display depending on your lighting conditions if you turn this on. Now, one thing I do want to mention, you'll see I see the difference a little bit. It becomes a little more yellow when I turn it on and off. What I do want to mention is if you do turn this on, then in terms of the vivid mode, you don't see the vivid slider in here because you know the update from February introduced the new vivid slider. That's only available if you have this turned off. So if you have this adaptive mode turned off here, you go into screen mode, then you have this advanced setting slider where you can play with the vividness. So you won't have the advanced setting slider if you turn it on, but it is a new feature to One UI 6.1. And uh, if you want something that has a more realistic looking tone for the specific lighting conditions, maybe if that makes it a little easier on your eyes, you can enable that. You then just won't be able to play away around with your vividness settings, as I said before. The next option is something that's built in that you may not have even noticed if you don't take a lot of screenshots. But if you do take a lot of screenshots, it's very useful. Let's say I take a screenshot of my Twitter feed here uh, and then I tap on it to edit it. And let's tap edit and then we're gonna crop it. So let's say I wanna crop this just to get like one piece of a specific person's avatar. My guy Brian here follows the channel all the time. Let's say I wanna just get this small little crop that has his avatar in it. And then I go ahead and save this. It'll give me this pop-up that says increase image resolution. It looks sharper, but also takes up more space. You can choose to keep it or increase. Now this uses AI to increase the resolution of the photo so it won't be as blurry if you crop a very small part of your screenshot. And it does a great job. Now this doesn't show up all the time, keep that in mind, but it does show up in the places where you need it, where it's useful. So if you do take a lower res screenshot, you will most likely see it there, and then you'll be able to go ahead and upscale it to save into your gallery. Next, one feature that a lot of people complained about being removed with One UI 6.1 when the S24 arrived was the ability to remove the nav bar hint. Now that's actually not available inside the stock settings, but if you once again download GoodLock and enable the Navstar module right here on the makeup side, it does give you this option. So if we go ahead and allow, go ahead and turn this on, then you'll see here, there's a couple of things you can do. One of those is turn on enable extra gesture settings. If you turn on enable extra gesture settings, now when you go back into the main screen, go down to display and scroll down to where you would have your navigation bar, you'll see that you will have more options up here and this will give you the option now to remove the gesture hint. You can also then play around with a few other things there as well. And you can switch apps when the hint is hidden. This is something else they added recently right here as another option that you have there. So you can choose to slide along the bottom to switch between apps or not when the hint is hidden. But you see here, 
my gesture hint is gone, which is something that a lot of people I know were complaining about when the S24 came out, but it is something you can fix with Navstar. Uh, the next thing is a calling feature. And so if you go into your dialer, and make a phone call, I'm just calling UPS customer service here. Uh, you'll notice that there's an extra feature here at the top when you scroll down to settings called mic mode. So if you tap on mic mode at the top, what this will do is let you switch from standard to voice focus. If you tap on voice focus, voice focus will isolate your voice a little bit better. It'll give you a better quality call and a better experience for the person you're talking to as well. So overall, it's a win-win. It's a little bit hidden because you have to swipe down from the entire quick panel. It's right at the top and you'll be able to isolate and find it right there. Up next is customizing alarms and reminders. You can now customize the full screen look of your alarms and reminders. So I'll just go into uh, the reminders application here. Let me find reminders here. Actually, I don't know if I even have it yet on the new phone. I don't. So let's go into the clock. If you set an alarm, for instance, for any time, let's just call it a test alarm here, and you scroll down, you'll be able to change the alarm background now. So you'll see that now you can select any background you want with the background button. Uh, you can change actually the way the clock looks. There are very few limited options that you can change, but uh, you can then also choose what happens here in terms of the increments. You can customize everything about the look of the alarm and also the functionality. Of course, if you don't care, you can just keep the standard there that you have, but a lot of the other options that you have there like changing alarm sound, vibration, snooze, all that good stuff as well. Now you can do the same thing with the reminders app, which I do need to load onto my phone because this is an S24 Ultra that I just set up pretty recently. I have a couple for testing, uh, my main one and then another one I purchased. Uh, but this one, you can still do this with alarms and as well as reminders. The last thing is the AI generated wallpaper feature. I think a lot of people use the S24 Ultra, enjoyed playing with this when they first got their phone. If you long press on the home screen, go to wallpapers, change wallpapers and creative, You'll be able to use the AI feature to generate wallpapers. You can choose from a bunch of preloaded categories. Uh, and then once you do that, it'll give you a little blurb that you can edit. So you can change the color, uh, you can change the object, and you can change the uh, item that's being included, bubbles, waves, etc. Hit generate, and it will generate you an AI generated wallpaper. So it's a pretty cool feature. It does give you some cool wallpapers. I still personally prefer getting my wallpapers from one for wall. Um, I play with the AI wallpapers. That's where this wallpaper is from, uh, is the one for wall app. But you know, it's fun to play around with. It just doesn't end up giving me wallpapers that are quite as good as I can get elsewhere. And that's the main reason why I've been sticking with my uh, standard wallpaper apps. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like, comment, subscribe to the notification icon, future more videos like this. If you guys wanna save some money on your wireless service, again, check out my partners at Mint Mobile right now, starting today. All plans will be $15 a month, including the unlimited plan. Try mintmobile.com slash Springer to check it out. Appreciate them for sponsoring the video. Appreciate Mint for being partners on the channel. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.